Hello and welcome back to High Now Daily. Now, as Maui continues to remain at the forefront of our thoughts and our prayers, we're learning more about the Chambers Business Relief Fund and a new survey available for Maui businesses affected by the wildfire. So we'd like to welcome Chamber of Commerce Hawaii President and CEO, Sherry Minor McNamara. How's it? Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you for having me here. Now, Sherry, I know there's a ton that the Chamber is doing to support uh, cocoa efforts that are taking place on the mm -hmm. Valley Isle, but I, I want to start here really quickly. Just yesterday, yes. you did the Business on the Green Golf Tournament, right? So how was that and what was that all about? Oh, it was an incredible event. It was our 11th Business on the Green Golf Tournament presented by Alsco. And we sold out. We had 168 players. The pace was good. And we had food and beverages on each hole thanks to our sponsors. And we couldn't really done it without all the supporters as well. Uh, so we already have a date scheduled for next year. Which okay, is when is that? Because I got a request off. I know. October <laughs> 7th. It's a Monday at Hoakalei. And not everyone can play at Hoakalei. So so I think that's why a tournament is very popular amongst all the food and drinks, of course, and the camaraderie. Absolutely. And again, the chamber is doing so much here in Hawaii to really support what's happening in Maui. So mm. I wanted to ask about the Maui Business Relief Fund. What is that and what is the intention of that being set up for? Yeah, so the fund, we launched it immediately after the fires happened because we recognized that after the immediate response uh, uh, stage, we knew that economic recovery would have to happen. And we also recognize that there are so many businesses that are impacted um, from the fires within the Lahaina community, as well as now from the, uh, the downturn of tourism. And so we felt that we needed to stand up a fund immediately. And so that's what we did. We're continuing to raise monies. Uh, in fact, we're so grateful the Harold Castle Foundation has done a matching uh, grant. So if we can raise $50,000 from local businesses, they will match it with another $50,000. And another role that we're playing is more on the state and federal level. How can we advocate more uh, effectively and more strong to get more funds to help support our local businesses during this very trying time so that they can continue to keep their doors open as well as their employees employed. Absolutely. And, and the recovery effort is taking place on many levels mm -hmm. and it's going to take, it's a, a big scope to get through. Included in that is this expansion of school partners, um, education and work development. How is the yes. chamber supporting those efforts? Yeah, you know, we have a very active education and workforce development program, a team of four dedicated on focusing just on that. Uh, one of the areas that continue to see growth is the work-based learning opportunities. So for the chamber, we work with various high schools, mainly on Oahu, and our two newest partners that we'll be uh, working with are Nanakuli and uh, Wainai, so very excited about that. And work-based learning is really to show students what kind of opportunities there are as they think about what they want to do um, with the careers mm -hmm. and Moving forward, exactly you know what kind of jobs are out there so it's, it's really to expose them from early on now Sherry, in addition to the many uh, different in innovations that are taking place with the chamber and as you guys look to continue to co cool, cool let's talk about national manufacturing day tour what is that and when is that sure so national manufacturing day is on October 6th mm -hmm. uh, we will have have ours on October 5th. We've been doing this for several years already. Uh, we are, the Chamber is the exclusive representative for the National Association of Manufacturers. So we're here to support our local manufacturers, whether it's advocacy, whether it's funding, business development, whatever it may be. So on October 5th, we're bringing our lawmakers, some members to various local companies to let them know how our manufacturing industry supports our economy, how many jobs they provide, Etc. And really talk about products here made in Hawaii. That's so, cool. Now, yeah. as someone who's never gotten a chance to see something like that mm -hmm. or kind of learn in that way, what are the responses like when people are able to go and participate? It's like, wow, I didn't <laughs> know this existed. So, for example, two places that we're going to uh, are Pacific Shipyard and True Tag Technologies. Mm -hmm. um, incredible work, and not only making products for Hawaii, but also to for the national benefit. Mm -hmm. You know, for True Tag Technologies, they're creating technology technology right here in Hawaii to help whether it's the defense industry or other ways. Uh, so it's pretty exciting to see what is happening here. Yeah. And of course, we have to stop by some food uh, oh, manufacturing yeah. companies too. Definitely. So, yeah. yeah, that's going to be amazing. Okay, yeah. now in addition to that, November 1st, yes. annual membership luncheon. And this is really one of the biggest events for the chamber all year, right? Yes, it is our largest event of the year. 130, 70, excuse me, 173rd annual membership luncheon. Yeah, it's, uh, it's on November 1st. Um, probably about 
700 plus mm -hmm. people from the business community attend, and we're excited because the keynote speaker is from Amazon, uh, a person who has led disaster relief efforts for Amazon. Wow. So, you know, I'm sure we'll have, we'll have a lot to learn, and there'll be a lot of good takeaways. Absolutely, and at this uh, luncheon, what can people expect, and, and how do people get more information on, about that if they want to attend? If they want to attend, they can go to our website, cochawaii.org. We do expect a large turnout just because of a keynote speaker, Mm -hmm. um, as well as a number of other activities that will happen. We have an expo before the annual luncheon starts, or the luncheon starts, where we can, um, they can network with other businesses, learn about other businesses. There's always a good buzz before the uh, event starts. And then when the program starts, uh, it's also, we're gonna recognize the Young Professional of the Year, Board Member of the Year, and this year we're adding Teacher of the Year. Wow, yes. very exciting things it that is. are happening. And we're also um, voting in our new board members as well yeah okay well I can say too I participated myself personally in the YP the young professional yeah. program for the yeah. chamber so it's incredible stuff incredible leaders I just want to say thank you so much for everything you do for businesses and everything the chamber does thank you and thank you so much for always uh, being so supportive we really appreciate it all right well mahalo so much